so we have this iphone iphone 6 and this phone doesn't charge or at least without you having to twist the usb cable in the port yes welcome back to phone look at thanks for watching our videos so um this is what we have to solve today and uh, now i believe it will be a perfect experience and so if you have your iphone 6 out there and someone has told you now nah, you cannot repair the charging a problem you may need to really outsource it no um fear no more hey, just stay with me until the end of the video and see what we have to do now when the phone is not charging or at least not charging without you having to bend it there are two things that you really have to first find out now since i haven't been the one with this phone i need to verify how true that claim is okay let me wake the phone up home button and i am actually using a new usb I basically haven't even unsealed it so I am going to plug it in and try to see if I can reproduce the symptom that um, this client uh, claims is what they do observe uh, wake it up uh, get my Thunderbolt cable plug it in and then when I plug it in when you look at the battery icon I do not see anything right there now let me attempt to bend and see if I get anything close to charging icon okay after bending it slightly upward I think you can see and hear the sound of the charger detected um, just a moment right there I get that thunderbolt release nothing bend it some more so uh, the first thing is actually to look into the charging port and uh, first check it for any signs of that and debris. Uh, let me get my pins, a glue pin. It will help me pick out any piece of fabric that may be clogging the charging port itself. Yeah, so let's go right ahead and uh, open these screws. So I only have one here, so it will just act as our demo. And uh, my screwdriver is not magnetized and by the way always keep the screws it's very hard to get a replacement for it seeing that there are quite a few iPhones on our local market so you do not want to go losing it and um, now the way you open this phone is by lifting out the front screen but then you have to do it beginning from the bottom side this side because at the top there are actually fibers that um, bring signals from the motherboard into the screen or LCD layer and also the touch or digitizing layer and down to the home button. Now you have to watch out for those. Uh, if you attempted to pry it from the top side, you'll rip them apart. So now we get right into that area with our blade. Make sure the top side does not move open it by the bottom side like that uh, this is to protect our fibers at the top but those are the fibers we need to be careful about now this battery connector usually should have plate that actually restrains it in the event of a fall the battery shouldn't jump out of its socket we need to pry out the battery so we will bring our prying tool get in there and lift it however if you don't have this you can use your fingernail but avoid using anything metallic you can't be certain of what you may short out now having done that we are interested in cleaning our pot so i will put back the screen but not press it all the way just to allow for me to be able to grip my phone well so first thing is i am going to first clean the pot try to remove any dirt or fabric that may be clogging this pot i don't seem to get so much of the dirt but you can see some of that occasionally now this could just be what's causing your phone not to charge and uh, the usb is simply not reaching the entire depth of the charging port so that's the first thing that's unclog your port 
-huh. I know it's a very simple trick and could save you a lot of shillings or dollars. Um, cents and shillings, yeah. I usually advise that you watch the video from the beginning to the end. Um, in between somewhere there, I tend to give tips on how to make sure everything goes on perfectly, uh, things to heed, and uh, general rules of thumb to follow when doing such tasks. Now, having done this, I want to think I have, I have been thorough enough. I hope I have been thorough enough in removing all the dirt. You can see all that right there was inside our pot. Now that's a lot of that, and it's only natural that it happens, seeing that we live in surroundings that are dusty and uh, full of fabric and debris floating in the air. So over the years, this pile up here, and with a bit of sweat, since these phones are always in our pockets, they end up forming sort of like solids. Okay, I like to think that is sufficient cleaning. And since this is metallic, I am also using it to rub onto the small contact points at the bottom, sort of in an attempt to polish them up, just in case of any corrosion, causing them to not make proper electrical contact with our USB um, Thunderbolt pin. Um, okay, um, having done that, now I'm going to just uh, try to see if the cleaning actually corrected they having to bend a little bit so as to charge um, so let's uh, get our battery back place that in now that's plugged in and we shall bring our USB and plug it in and see if it responds normally now the phone has woken up on the first attempt but let's not be quick to think we've fixed this Let's simply wait for it to power on and we see if the thunderbolt cable or sign at the battery icon will be stable on the initial attempt of inserting the USB thunderbolt cable into the phone. Uh, it's powering on. So anyway, it has woken up, but um, we still do not have thunderbolt. So this shows us, so it shows us that we are on the forward step so i have noticed i do not have to use a lot of bending to uh, get the battery detected okay i still need some bit of bending though after relieving it sort of detects now i have to go forward and do another thing now the next one is a bit one that actually requires you have the phone open and that is to narrow the port and if that doesn't solve the situation we will change the entire charging system so we are going to narrow the port to make it a bit firm uh, now to narrow the port we shall also need to turn off this phone now having powered off I will go in and again disconnect our battery right there so that's the port now to narrow it down I'm simply going to press that a bit down uh, I'm going to use my key squeeze it a bit squeeze that a bit and look onto the other side and see if that has gone down now next is to check if the cable goes right if it still goes in now i want to make it much firmer okay i feel that's i feel like that's something okay and now i have to test whether that has worked before we go forward to actually change this charging system as a whole let's put back our battery and confirm as to whether 
the phone is actually charging on simple insertion of the USB. So pull uh, align the connector into the socket and press it down. Okay, that's connected. Bring down our screen and then get our USB and plug it in. Let's see. So it initially detects it. Let's give it uh, a few minutes to boot up. Uh, I'll take a second. Proper contact at the socket and it has gone on. Now we will first unlock it. Okay, unlocked. Um, now let me bend. Supply, supply my USB. Um, okay, there. So I see the Thunderbolt. So I have decided to opt to, to opt to using my PC because this this has actually had its fair share and has become weathered bit, and it wasn't giving me a reliable source of power. So it was loose. So basically, what we have done is clean the port and narrow it down and just like that we've also solved our problem of having to bend the USB into the iPhone so as to get it to charge so yeah so that's the beauty of history initially I had come with the intentions of changing the entire charging system I guess it's not all a loss I know most of you were quite willing to see how that is done but I'll bring you another video of sorts so you can be able to do that and uh, as usual if you have any queries please do leave them in the comment section uh, click on the like button it goes a long way to saying thank you and it means a lot to us please do share our videos and hit the subscribe button more videos will be coming up you never know what will work for you the best so you see I do not have to bend it I get it to charge immediately I insert just like that so iPhone not charging so or iPhone charging only when you bend the Thunderbolt cable pin uh, has been solved and how did we do that um, by cleaning out all the clogging fabric and dirt that had settled into the Thunderbolt port and uh, that improved a bit of uh, the charging I needed to bend it only slightly for it to detect the charger now the next thing we did to permanently solve the problem was to actually narrow the port by squeezing it gradually without having to deform the Thunderbolt port itself and lo and behold we have a perfectly charging iPhone now this would save you almost a hundred thousand if you formed a sharp technician or for you guys who have Apple care that's about a hundred dollars or so yeah and, and that's how repair is i believe you can do it at home you just have to believe in yourself anyway disclaimer if you mess up your iphone it's not on me uh, this is just for educational purposes but you can do it um see you in the next video uh, thanks for watching uh, subscribe like and share <laughs>